What's up boys and welcome back to another video and this time it's a bit of a different video because I am upset. I am very upset with something and the something is Project Cast 2. For everybody who's now uh, seeing this video he's like oh no he's a hater or something. No I indeed like Project Cast 2. It's a really nice game. It's a big improvement to Project Cast 1. But there are just things that makes this game unplayable sometimes and today I'm going to talk about that. First of all, uh, you may have uh, heard about that our SRL um, league had the Indy 500 uh, last Saturday on Project Cars 2. It was planned to be the biggest race of the season and everybody was very excited. Uh, of course, we ran it on uh, Project Cars 2 because it has IndyCar on the game and that's very special for a video game. And I'm very happy that Project Cars 2 has IndyCar on it. So um, we planned uh, on doing a whole IndyCar week with uh, four days of practice and on Saturday then the qualifying and the race. All week uh, I've been the quickest driver um, together with uh, a mate of mine, Vasilios. We were the quickest drivers all week and I felt very comfortable going into the race because of course uh, I love oval racing and um, last season SRL F1 2017 league I haven't won a race and I would I just I got really excited for the race and I really wanted to win this one. Here you can see me um, drafting together and qualifying with my teammate uh, Dion Stahl. Just look at the driving of the car a little bit. Very little steering, everything was fine. Look at the kilometers per hour on the right um, bottom side. Look how quick I'm going on the straight. 371 kilometers per hour. Just, just keep that in your mind for a second. So I finished, uh, I qualified P3, or the top 3 celebrated by 1,000 of seconds by the way. So let's have a look. The race went go. And everything was fine, the race went go, I lost the couple of uh, positions, not a problem. We had 100 laps to make this up again. I go into turn 1, I steal like I usually did and my car just didn't turn. I just went straight on into the barriers. And at that point I was like, hmm. Maybe I'd call tires, but it was still was weird because all week uh, we all also did some practice races. Everything was fine. Everything was totally fine. So what I figured out, what I figured out what happened. Um, yeah, I had a glitch. I had a glitch in uh, possibly the biggest race of the season, the biggest um, sim racing race I had so far in my sim racing career, and. I'm not the only one who had this glitch. First of all, let me explain you this glitch. Uh, the glitch is that the car, as you can clearly see, is not turning in correctly. I had to do nearly opposite lock all the time, nearly all the race. The, the, the track has four, four, four turns, yeah? It were 100 laps, which meant I had to do full lock 400 goddamn times. My, I've, got still, I've still got blisters on my hand because of that shit. Another thing, uh, was that I weren't able, I told you to remember my uh, quickest, my my uh, t my uh, uh, speed from qualifying. Look, I'm, near, I'm, I'm nearly 20 kilometers slower than I was in qualifying a practice, which just makes no sense. Because you can see I've got slipstream, I should be quicker, but I wasn't able to get over 355 kilometers per hour, which is ridiculous. So I had two bucks. I wasn't able to, to turn correctly. Just look how I'm going into turn one. I'm nearly, I'm nearly like going into the barriers, and I'm also like forced to not go over 355 kilometers per hour. It doesn't matter if I've got slipstream because the slipstream doesn't matter at this point because the game doesn't let me go over 300 and now it's 40, 55 kilometers per hour, which is ridiculous. But I wasn't the only driver who had this problem. Cam Weston Edwards, uh, also an SRL racer. He's actually running behind me right now on the footage you can actually see. He had the exact same glitch and we both were off the pace all race. Which made this race a really bad one. Just absolutely ridiculous. That race ruined our... That, that glitch ruined our whole race. We did a full week of practice. I did over 300 laps, 300 laps of practice on Indianapolis Motor Speedway. I spent so many hours trying to figure out the strategy, trying to figure out the car, drafting and stuff like that, and then the glitch happens in the race. I mean, it's just ridiculous. And that wasn't the only glitch that happened. We had, the full week was basically, we had glitches everywhere. We had 
cars, for example, in practice that happened, cars uh, drivers weren't able to see other cars. Like Francis, for example, he's also a driver that uh, participated in the race, who actually went on to win the race. He joined a practice session and nobody was able to see his car, but he was able to see us, which makes no sense. We had um, a driver, every time he went uh, into uh, exiting the pits, he just disconnected five times in a row, which made it him not being able to practice that day. Um, we had uh, somebody not being able to choose a car, he was forced to, choo to, to go with Chevrolet every single time, so he wasn't able to drive the Honda. And we had a car, actually a glitch, deciding the race, because Vasilios and Francis, who are actually leading right now in the footage you can see, they were battling all race long. And going into uh, the five, last five laps of the race, they, there was a glitch, and Francis McGinn's car just glitched backwards and hit Basilio's car. And that wasn't because of lag, because Francis McGinn, Francis, the race winner, he has a very good connection. It was just Francis' car lagging behind, and that took Basilio's out. Race done for Basilio's. So glitches were happening all the time. And that makes me really, really upset. Because, don't get me wrong, Project Cars 2 is a really good game, huge improvement to Project Cars 1, but multiplayer is just garbage, at least from what I've experienced till now. Uh, I only have the game since, like, I think two months, but what I've experienced now is single player, totally fine. Multiplayer is trash. I talked to a friend of mine, Justin, um, by the way, he's a great guy, Noble Racing Network on YouTube. Uh, I'll, I'll, uh, have, he's linked in the description, just check him out, really great guy. Um, I talked about him, about um, the glitch, and he also had that. And not on the Noble, not in IndyCar, he just had it in a GT race at around Long Beach, which just shows us that it's not the track, it's not the cars which uh, make this glitch happening. It's actually the game. And if I had this, if Cameron Edwards had this, if Justin had this, then this is a problem which many other drivers also have, many other players of Project Cars 2. So I'm pretty sure Project Cars 2 knows about that. But why don't they change it? Why don't they patch the game? Why don't they warn the players about it? Why? Why does this need to happen in a serious league racing game? In a serious league race? Why? I don't get it. It's not like this is something which. I'm totally fine if that happens on release day of the game, or like a week after the release. But this game is, I think, now a year old, and this stuff is still happening. And it, it makes me really upset. It ruined my whole race, it ruined my my whole week of Indianapolis 500 practice, it ruined everything, yeah? Just this tiny, stupid, it wasn't tiny, this stupid glitch, just, it's ridiculous. I can't go past 355. Uh, I have to go nearly full lock in every corner, and yeah, I was so frustrated for during the race. Um, I ended up finishing fourth because other drivers were just taken out by glitches and crashes, which was also great, by the way. And yeah, this is my my uh, my opinion on all that. I mean, you cannot just. If you want to produce a game that's capable for sim racing, league racing, maybe esports nowadays. Project Cars is a very good game, but they just screw themselves with having such big bugs and glitches in multiplayer. And if they cannot take it out anytime soon, what <laughs> I don't know what we, what we are going to do then, because um, at the SRL uh, is planning to do a GT, uh, a, um, a GT Cars Championship on Project Cars 2. And if this keeps happening like in next in, in the season of uh, GT racing, then we're gonna scrap it because it makes no sense racing like that because obviously um, I topped three of the four practice days at Indianapolis I was the favorite going into the race and I was just casually running 10 seconds behind the leader because my car wasn't able to go past 355 and I had to go full lock in every corner same goes for Cameron Weston Edwards he was also he probably would have, have had a shot on the win but we got, both got screwed by the game so yeah like I said I'm very upset and I hope Project Cars 2, they will patch it. I hope it's going to be out of the game soon. I hope this, those things won't happen again, because obviously it's really, really, really annoying. And yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys about that because it, I'm so, I'm still so upset with the game because this is now, that happened like three, three days ago, and I'm still angry. 
but yeah guys thank you guys for watching for uh, this a bit different video um, I'm not gonna be that active in the next few weeks and maybe a month because SRL League Racing is now going into the summer break so am I so um, racing will probably continue in September stay tuned we're gonna move over to F1 2018 and like I told you before the Project Cars 2 um, GT Championship so make sure you're gonna check it out follow me on instagram link in the description also like i said check out justin uh, the noble racing network great guy makes great videos go and check him out also check out the srl league also link in the description um that's the league i created i'm the owner of that i'm really proud on how far we have came uh, how, how far we have come since 2016 so check that out and yeah thank you guys for watching this video leave a like if you enjoyed it subscribe for more f1 and league racing and general racing content and I've been Sandro and I'm gonna see you next time.